Hey there, you're back with Automotive Territory. The number of cars with a plug is increasing rather fast, and though we do not get many new purely electric cars, plug-in hybrids that combine the best of two worlds are rolling out with relative consistency. In today's episode, we'll show you top 10 PHEV models that will be arriving to the market by the end of 2019, bringing electrified future closer to our doorsteps. Before we roll the video though, subscribe to our channel to get notified about the new releases. Enjoy the ride! 2019 Chevrolet Volt Honestly speaking, this car is the current undisputed leader in the class of plug-in hybrid vehicles. The all-electric range of 53 miles is nearly enough to qualify it for the title of a legitimate compact electric city car, since on average people cover only 30 to 40 miles daily. Volt's efficiency is a result of coordinated work of two electric motors, a large 18.4 kWh battery and a 1.5-liter direct-injected gasoline engine, which serves as a range extender, which notably reaches 420 miles on a full tank and charge. Even though for the 2019 model year Chevy Volt is not getting a redesign, not even a facelift, it is rather being improved in a practical way. The new 7.2 kW charging system cuts recharging times in half, and now the battery could be replenished in 2.3 hours. The car gets new safety features like pedestrian alert, digital rear-view camera and adaptive cruise control. Plus on the inside, drivers will find more advanced tech and trimming of higher quality. Volvo S60 Plug-in Hybrid Available in three trim levels, our design, inscription and performance-oriented Polestar, the new S60 is the first automobile from Volvo to be built in the US in the last 63 years. The car will be manufactured at the company's newly opened American plant, just outside Charleston, South Carolina. As a standard, the new S60 comes with a 2.0-liter four-cylinder T8 delivering 313 horses and an 87-horsepower electric motor. The system setup needs 472 pound-feet of torque and 400 horses combined. However, the Pulsar Tram features another T8, engineered by the brand's performance branch of the same name, that boosts combined power output to 414 horses. This Volvo sedan boasts athletic design, with now iconic Thorshammer headlamps and new grille. Lots of standard features, including city safety with auto brake, a superior senses infotainment with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and 4G connectivity, and an optional pilot assist tech for the speeds up to 80 mph. Bentley Bentayga Plug-in Hybrid Hand-built at the factory in Crew, this Bentley car is the first luxury plug-in hybrid SUV created by the company. The car shares distinctive Bentley styling with the GT Continental, featuring the brand's signature headlamp cluster and black matrix grille, and it is manufactured using the most current technology, including the weight-saving aluminum body panels for the body shell. No concrete data on the powertrain is available at the moment, but it is rumored that the Bentayga plug-in hybrid will come with an all-new smaller displacement 3.0-liter V6 engine paired with an electric motor. The car will boast seven driving modes – Sport, Bentley, Comfort and Custom – seen on the regular Bentayga SUV, joined by the model-specific EV Drive, Hybrid and Holt. Its battery capacity has not been unveiled yet, however charging is expected to take two and a half hours using a newly developed Bentley X-Star power duct and a 220-volt socket. Volvo V60 The 2019 Volvo V60 is a mid-size luxury wagon packed with high-tech safety and driver assist features, including city safety with auto brake and pilot assist. The new V60 is a gorgeous little brother of the V90 model. The cars sit on the scalable product architecture platform and share lots of exterior and interior design elements, from the front LED lights with Thor's hammer styling and concave board grille to a similar-looking cabin with a vertically-oriented touchscreen. The V60, however, is 7 inches shorter and is available in two plug-in hybrid versions, featuring 65kW electric motor that works in pair with either the T6 or the T8 2.0-liter inline 4 gasoline engines, 8-speed automatic gearbox and an all-wheel drive. The main difference between the two is their power and torque output, that equals to 253 horses and 258 pound-feet of torque for the T6 and 303 horses and 295 pound-feet of torque for the T8. Both powertrains deliver 28 miles of all-electric range and get to 60 miles per hour from a standstill in 4.8 seconds. By the way, the automobile is scheduled to hit the market in the last quarter of 2018. 
Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid. E hybrid models are not just Panamera trims, but rather cornerstones in the Porsche's 971 program. The new liftback was initially designed with the hybrid powertrain in mind. The body, architecture, chassis, and components alignment were specifically engineered for the needs of the gasoline electric models so that thick and heavy 400 volt power cables won't affect the balance of the sporty automobile. The latest plug-in hybrid Turbo S models come with a standard and long wheelbase executive versions, which provide extra room for the rear passengers. The introduction of the next-generation power mill to this car resulted in an impressive boost of performance. Combined power output of a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 and an electric motor is marked at 680 horses and 626 pound-feet of torque. However, the unmatched output is overshadowed by the very limited 14-mile electric range and just decent 49 mpge. Polestar 1 This is the first supercar by Volvo's recently introduced separate performance division Polestar that was previously known for tweaking such models as V60 and S60. Though the car gets a new badge, it is not entirely original. In essence, this is a coupe version of the Volvo S90 sedan on steroids. The plug-in hybrid powertrain consists of three electric motors, two of which bring into motion rear wheels and the third one serves as an integrated starter generator, while the 2.0-liter supercharged and turbocharged inline four-cylinder gasoline engine powers front wheels. Combined power output is rated at 608 horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque. Polestar has three battery stacks with total capacity of 34 kWh, which are distributed to reach almost ideal 50-50 weight distribution. The all-electric range reaches 94 miles on each charge, letting the supercar travel further than any other conventional PHV of today. The rest of the performance package includes electronically controlled suspension, torque vectoring differential, and Akibono brakes. Porsche Cayenne e-Hybrid the new plug-in hybrid from Porsche is a luxury 5-seater all-season capable SUV with the performance of a sports car. Despite losing the S in the title, the 2019 automobile is more powerful and efficient than ever before. The model gains a stronger electric motor featuring an output increase of 39 horses and a bigger 14.4 kWh battery that is good for up to 27 miles of all-electric range and 83 mph top speed. Together with a 3.0-liter gasoline turbocharged V6, they net 455 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque, sprinting the SUV to 16 mph in just 4.7 seconds. The top speed is also not shy, getting close to 160 miles per hour this year. Being a Porsche, the new Cayenne starts from almost $80,000, but comes back with standard features, including Bluetooth connectivity, Apple CarPlay, internet-connected navigation, a 10-speaker sound system, My Porsche and Porsche Connect apps, and of course dual-zone climate control. Our channel partly specializes in review of electrified vehicles, so consider watching other episodes after this one. We'll leave links in the description and info cards. Let's proceed! Subaru Crosstrack Hybrid Subaru has been dominating the light SUV market for many years now, due to the perfect implementation of the right-sized all-wheel drive formula for those who need reliable outdoor performance. The Crosstrack is a perfect example of this formula, even though in essence it is an Impreza hatchback with a slightly higher clearance and some SUV styling elements. This crossover received a major redesign for the 2019 model here, but it appears that Supra was not through with the updates. This vehicle was selected as the first one to receive a plug-in hybrid powertrain in company's history. The electrification technology will be sourced from Toyota, and even though the exact performance parameters have not been announced yet, we should expect much needed higher output than the previous 2.0-liter four-cylinder with 154 horses and 145 pound-feet of torque. Honda Clarity Plug-in Hybrid The new plug-in hybrid model of Honda Clarity came to the market alongside the fuel cell and all electric modifications of this car. With this trio, the manufacturer is trying to satisfy the wide range of demand for eco-friendlier transport that has arisen during the past decade. The BHEV carries a 1.4-liter Atkinson cycle gasoline and line four-cylinder that is paired with a powerful electric motor and a 17 kWh battery. The electric motor produces 181 horsepower and 232 pound-feet of torque on its own, and 212 horses when working together with a gasoline counterpart. 
The MPGE rating of Hunter Clarity is 110 miles and impressively this parameter actually beats Chevy Volt's specifications. With Clarity you'll get advanced Honda sensing safety features, gorgeous premium interior, full LED lighting and Honda satellite navigation system. Audi A8 e-tron Even though visually this luxury sedan from Audi did not receive plenty of updates for the 2019, it can still boast of unmatched luxury interior, latest infotainment technology and an updated plug-in powertrain alongside other available gasoline engines. The electrified tandem of A8 is represented by a 3.0-liter turbo V6 coupled with a powerful electric motor. The resulting yield is 449 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. The battery is stored underneath the baggage compartment and being rather small, just 14 kWh, it ensures only 31 miles of pure electric range. However, what e-tron lacks in electric nature, it compensates with comfort. The driving is super smooth, especially with the optional air suspension installed. All-wheel drive guarantees road stability and comfort, while heated reclining and massage seats make passengers feel like the royalty. Where do you stand on the matter of plug-in hybrids? Do you need that extended range that they offer or should we all opt for pure electric cars? Share your opinion in the comment section, tell us which car is your favorite, like this video and watch other episodes suggested on the screen. And as always, may the torque be with you!